What's up guys? Today we're going to go over how to corner our stadium. As you can see, we've made considerable progress on the stands. And now we're going to make considerable progress on the corner and the back end of the stands. According to our plan, we are using Sanford Stadium as the model to come all the way to around to here. And then connect to the Brian Denny side of the stadium right there. And then Virginia Tech's will be over there. That's one of the last things we'll build. So we'll be using Sanford Stadium, which is Georgia, as the model for all of this today. And we'll stop about right there. We might connect it to that. We'll see what time allows. So let's jump right into it. Pull up our Sanford Stadium map. And this is the corner we're trying to build. So we're going to build all of this today. So the first thing we want to do is estimate about where the corner begins curving. This can be deceiving because of how Minecraft is. I'm going to estimate that it starts curving right there, but you say, oh, it's very obvious that it's curving right there. It's kind of not, because in Minecraft, circles are not so simple. When I go to make a circle, it's not constantly rounded. I have a flat part and then a curved part. my circle. So as you can see, I need to build in room if I was going to say, where does this start curving? Well, it obviously starts curving right there in Minecraft, but we know this whole thing is a circle, so it starts curving there in real life. I need to make that adjustment when I'm looking at where does the curve really begin. So when I look at Sanford Stadium, I say the curve begins maybe right in here, maybe right in there. I think I pre-measured this, and I think it looks best if we say that it starts curving right in that area. So, what we need to do first is, so we know it's curving right there. And then we need to measure this little half wall. If there's a half wall right here, we need to measure it. Most stadiums there will be, and in this case, this is 23, which is 7 or 8 blocks, 8 blocks long. 8 blocks big. So. Let's fly back over here. What do we do with that information? Well, the first thing we do with that information is we stop this wall about where we think that curve begins. And I thought it began probably on this block. Maybe on this block, and you might even say this block. But I am going to use this block. Now, for the 8, what we need to note is how far this needs to extend up. How many rows? Count this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So our curve begins right there. And this will be the little half wall. One thing I wanted to know from last episode is the difference between a 2-back and a 1-back. That's a 1-back. It looks very symmetrical. It's straight back. But you can see it creates these flat sides right here. And I've done some extensive curving, to, as you can look down on it there, to try to curve those out. But it never really gets great. Whereas in a two-back, the curve kind of just stays around that side. It doesn't expand outward. To be, uh, yeah. So on a flat side, I think the two-by-twos look a little bit better. Even if the one-by-ones actually look a little bit more seamless down the sides. I think when we get this overhead view, you can see the difference. Now, that one's built 45 high. That one's built 41 high. There is a height difference based on the stadium. So let's get back to it. So on the Sanford Stadium side, we did a 2 by one uh, instead of a one by one You can do whatever you want. So let's back it up, 2 by one One, two. And I'll give you a little taste of how I did that over there. So it'll follow that pattern right there. And then, like I said before, in an earlier episode, we kind of just one by one these in until they get too big to do that with. About eight one by ones is the maximum amount of uh, ones you want to come in. So we said this was the one that's coming across. This is the builder right here. We're actually going to make that two. For sake of simplicity, that's a veteran move that I'm not going to explain. So this one is going to be the one that curves in. And all we have to do is simply measure from there to there. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seven by sixteen. What we will have. So we go to our mind conics. And we type in seven by sixteen. That gives us something that looks like that. Little inner circle, not the big outside one. We're going to build, that's going to be where the side comes in, and then that is going to be the middle where it connects. So I'm going to put that over there and build it with this in mind. Calls for a 2, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, and a flat sign. Oh, you know what I did? You got to be careful not to count. Even the veteran move. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now, what I did, the mistake I made, just so you don't make it, is you cannot count this block, this middle block right here. So start from there and go over. Okay. So now that we've got that, what does that mean? That means we are going to repeat that pattern as we go up. Block off the front. And we know about where that wall is going to, the height of this wall now. The height will always just cover the stand. So, we can delete that. I'll leave that over there for the light. Now that goes away. And now we simply go back, right back at it. Go to the next one. 8 by 17. This is what I was talking about maybe in the earlier video. That one goes 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the earlier video, uh, I'll just follow this pattern in. Oh. When I, the last video, when I explained the uh, stadium over there, the little tiny one that we built. Here, so right here's my starting block, so that's one, two, now I would then promptly just repeat that motion uh, as far up as it needed to go. So I look at my map, and you can see that it's pretty, it pretty much goes all the way to the top there. There might be one or two extra rows that we don't have to do, maybe two. But more likely, yeah, we're just going to have to take that all the way to the top. So that's all 41 right there. All the way to the top, we just repeat that pattern. I'll do one more for the sake of explanation. So we'll bring this in. our starting point, so now we go two, and if you're just picking up the episode and you're confused of what I'm doing, I've talked about this a little bit in the past, I'm just looking at my side screen and building the exact thing that Mineconics is telling me to build. It's really that simple. That row that I just did is a direct copy of from there to there. So, I would do that as many more times as needed, and then I would have it. Then I would look into this corner and see what is this corner made of. So this is where we have to rely on pictures. So it looks like there's a, maybe a, we're building this wall, not this one. We'll get to that one later. Hopefully that's the right side of the stadium. I yeah, it is, it has to be. So that that's too wide, and then there looks to be a tunnel back through there. And then maybe that tunnel ends, that wall extends, the tunnel probably ends right there. At the, probably in the middle of the piece, the uh, double wide stripe there. So the tunnel probably ends right there. 
and the tunnel probably starts. Let's see. I feel like that wall just kind of comes uh, right there. So wherever that wall is, even probably. This looked to be too wide to me. Makes sense because that will also serve to be the roof going back in the tunnel. And sure enough, you've got your corner built. Now it's e it's as easy as repeating that pattern. Now we always want our corners to be symmetrical, so while we have it here, probably want to go ahead and do that side. So. I said this comes up on eight. But we'll get the exact block that it comes up or that the final let's see, we'll do the final corner here. It is on forty one, negative forty one seventy one. So over here if you've built your stadium right. Oops. Seventy one we actually want it. How far back doesn't matter. Oh, this is going to be a new corner. Okay, so traditional stadiums are not going to, they're going to be symmetrical. Most of them are going to be symmetrical. So I'd build the exact same corner here as here. Where we're meshing Bryant Denny Stadium, which is an entirely different stadium than Sanford Stadium, this will be a little bit different. But it'll be an opportunity for us to remeasure. So we said, so we're just going to do the exact same way. We said that it goes up eight rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this will be the row right here that comes across. So I made a mistake. It's actually 15 by 11. I discovered when I came across there. So it's actually this block that we're going off of. Which hopefully, if you were watching, you caught it. If you didn't, don't feel bad. Because apparently I did not either. got two, 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 one, boy, that's a weird set, two, three, so seven blocks on top of blocks here. Delete that. It's confusing me. Two, 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 one, two, three, four, like so. Great. Delete all this. And that's what the mine conics tells me. Now I can build that up. And we have both our corners set. It really is that easy. I just repeat the pattern that I've that I've done you know, a that many more times. It's process often and not the uh, not the difficulty of the process is the fact that you have to grind it out and do it. But I suspect that knowing the process will help. That's why I'm doing this tutorial series. Fantastic. Let's uh, let's do a couple more rows on this side as well, so you guys can get the general idea. I've put in 16 by 12 in my mind conics. Great, so that's how we look in the corner there. Fantastic. That will end up looking better than it looks right now. Especially as we're able to even it out from up here. 
I might actually end up redoing those two corners, but that would be in a later video. Anyways, it's going to look a little weird right there. Uh, because of the way that's cornered in, I'm actually going to have to probably figure out a little bit better solution for just this group of area right there. It's not a problem I've particularly encountered before where I've got a curve in and then a shoot out and then a straight. You can see it's obviously much better executed over here because I've been able to copy it straight off the Google Maps. So, but we'll figure out a workable, something that looks good in that corner before we build all the way up to the top there. What I will do is off video here, I'm going to build all of this over to right there, so half the stadium there. And when we come back next time, we'll be talking about uh, setting up the top of the stadium. And then hopefully I'll have a solution for that corner as well. So setting up the top rows, getting that corner nailed down in the next video, and then look for these tunnels to be built. Do a tunnel and staring episode, and we'll do the building the top, and then we'll do this whole lane stadium nonsense in a couple episodes. Then we'll get to start to build the outside of the stadium, so we'll be uh, what 40% done at that point. So once this is built up, we will be there. I'm actually going to do a few rows, a few more rows in super speed. And we'll see how it looks after that. All right, guys, so you can see how that's looking. If you tune in next time, we'll talk about how to finish that corner. Plus, you'll see this entire thing completed. We'll complete that corner next time and talk about all these tunnels. Also, I've added the download link to this map in the description below. You can download it and build with me. I'll update it as we go.